Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's video where I'm going to be showing you the drawing process behind a green set of eyes but instead of shading them and everything like you would with browns or greys, I'm going to be showing you how you can use reds and complementing colours to help create really realistic looking shadows and to help give an extra pop to your eyes. This tutorial is going to be in real time, so if this is something that you are interested in and you want to learn how to use colours together to create interesting shadows and not get that kind of muddy look that you often get with coloured pencil drawings by adding in browns and greys, this video is going to be for you, so carry on watching. So what we're going to do first is work on the left hand eye. You see how nice and sharp my pencil is here, so having a sharp pencil like this is really going to help us get those precise lines. If you've got a bit more of a dull tip, you get slightly larger or thicker lines, but because our eyes are so small and petite, we want some nice, smooth, small lines around the outside. So we're just going to follow the graphite. You just want to be nice and gentle. Hi Darren. So I'm going to follow around the actual iris part first. Make sure we get that shape in so using a light pressure like this we can get that initial shape in make sure that it's correct and looking fine I'm also going to add in the pupil again just using that light pressure to begin with so whilst we're here as well I'm going to outline and do the same for the right hand eye. So with the pupils it's really important that you get them in the correct place so that it looks like she's looking across. So the way that you can check that is to follow her line of sight and the angle in which her eyes are going. So her eyes are kind of coming down this way so you follow, follow her line of sight. Just make sure they're kind of level. going in the right direction so the line should be coming kind of straight up from the pencil this one I just need to ever so slightly angle that way just add a little bit more onto that one maybe a little bit on this one as well it's a little bit better That's a lot better. So the next thing we will do is put in our highlights. I'm going to put these in before solidifying any of those darker areas. So using your white pencil, I just want to add in using quite a firm pressure add in those areas of highlights if you're using a negative space method or don't want to use a white pencil then just skip that step and then just make sure that when you're adding the colour and everything and all the shadows that you kind of go around around that highlight area so now that we've got the shape in, if you're completely 100% happy with the shape of the eyes and everything, we can go in and solidify those lines by using a little bit more pressure on the pencil. So to do that, I'm just moving the pencil and my hand slightly more towards the tip of the pencil. 
That also helps to get a little bit more control over the line as well. So you can exert a little bit more pressure and just have a little bit more control. So you don't want to push too hard that you end up breaking the tip of the pencil. You want to keep it to avoid any breakage. You can see how much darker this left hand eye is compared to the right hand eye here. I'm just going to go in and add that one in as well. So for the eye colour, we're going to be using some yellows and some greens. So I'm just going to grab out all of my yellows and greens. I'm going to also use some blues and some reds as well to add into the shadows. So we're going to be using a little bit more of our colour theory for this one to um, add reds onto greens to create a more kind of natural looking shadow. First of all, we're going to use our Naples yellow. I'm just going to fill in the whole of the eye, the iris area, avoiding that highlight with this. I'm using a circular motion to add this down all over the eye there. This is quite a bright yellow, but we can tone that down and smooth it out by using a little bit of white in there eventually, but we might not need it. So her eyes are going to be really simple to actually fill in here as well. Next we're going to take our green gold. I'm going to work this into more sort of the shadowy areas. So there's a lot of shadow at the top. So I'm still using that circular motion and filling this in. Coming around the sides as well, so around the, the outside edges of the eye where you would have a little bit more of a natural shadow around the eyelid. So the right hand eye is a lot darker than the left hand eye, so we can just pretty much shade this all in there. We can start adding in some green. So I'm going to start off with the permanent green olive. There's a lot of sort of green coming around the pupil so I'm just going to use this lightly still making that small circular motion and just really gently filling in the green around the pupil. So you want to make really really light strokes or circles in this case with this pencil. I'm going to add the green into the top as well because then when we add the red over the top it's going to create a really nice natural kind of looking grey coming around the edges as well. So I'm adding in all of the shadow areas first. So focusing on all of that shadow aspect. Coming on to the right hand eye. This one is really, really dark. I'm going to add in the green in there. Like so. Just going to give this a little brush over. So you can kind of see kind of how glassy her eyes are looking already. We're going to switch to using some of the olive green yellowish. I'm going to give it a sharpen because the pencil tip is quite dull and I want it nice and sharp so I can get right into all of those little areas around the top and around the highlight and make that nice and crisp. <laughs> Okay. 
it's obviously really dark at the top so that's why we're going to focus a lot more of this green colour and I'm just going to make sure that we add a little bit more of a focus line around the top of the highlight as well just to get that really nice and clear and that nice and crisp coming underneath the highlight as well a little bit and around those pupils and on to the right hand eye at the same time oops just a little bit of that green on there So I'm also going to use a little bit of the dark indigo into the top of the left hand eye. Just into the shadow area, so it's going to help to create that shadow. Create that really nice darkening effect. This um, dark indigo works really nicely with these green tones. And just coming into the pupil and then around the outside of the people towards the left as well got a little bit more of like a blue shadow there on the right hand side just coming into the top because it's really nice and dark and just making sure around the highlight is really nice and crisp as well So here's where we bring in some red and we start to add the red to the top of the eye over the top of those greens. So I'm using the scarlet red and again I'm going to make sure I've got a really nice sharp point so we can get all those small details and right up to the lines and everything in there. Okay, so nice sharp pencil. I'm going to work into this section more towards the right hand side into that area get that nice and dark and then a little bit off towards the left as well I'm going to work some of the green over the top of that as well so it just works really nice at adding shadows So I'm using a little bit of the red to add a bit of shadow around the pupil and around that highlight. And then going to follow around the top of the highlight using some of the dark indigo. A little bit of a red in this bottom section here. So around the edges a little bit as well. I'm going to add the red into the right hand side. So trying to avoid using any browns or anything through the eyes and just keep them really kind of nice pure colour. I'm going to take the permanent green olive and just start to add a little bit more shadow and then keep these kind of highlighted yellow areas through the eye. I'm just going to use the yellow just to come back in and do a little bit of smoothing and shading followed by the white because we need 
a nice pale yellow and that's going to help to really pale everything out using a little bit more of the red and coming into underneath the highlight and the top as well especially on that left hand side and then coming over the top of the red with a little bit of green so we're also going to use some of the dark sepia to come back and edge around the eye just bringing a little bit of that dark sepia into the top shadow of the eye as well we just want to make sure that this around the outside of the eye is really nice and dark. This side is kind of okay. We're going to come into the highlight areas with some of the dark indigo. And tone that down. So the sort of tail end, the left hand side of the highlight on the left side needs to be shaded a little bit with the dark indigo. Going to add a little bit of the green in there as well. And then using the dark indigo just add a little bit of an edge around the right hand side of the highlight on this side here and then tinting the right hand side highlight with that dark indigo and coming into the pupils with some more of that dark indigo as well adding a little bit more of that brighter green around the pupil so hopefully my eyes are looking nice and bright and not really muddy because we haven't added too many different kind of colors together they've all kind of been in like a color harmony situation going on so without the addition of browns or anything like that they actually look quite nice and sparkly and kind of really working well so hopefully you're getting getting on with your eyes and, and got some good eyes going in there or already sussed them out I think I'm just going to use a little bit of the white pencil and come in and just add a little bit of a bright brightness to the, the light sections on the underneath. Like that. Just a little bit better there. I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial in real time. If you want to follow along with the whole thing, then you can hop on over to my Patreon page on my website. Both of those options give you access to this particular tutorial along with the black and white fur. There's also a video on the YouTube channel explaining the kind of real basics of how I did the black and white fur, like the shading in the white fur and how to get the sheen on the black fur. But if you wanna follow along with the full thing, hop on over to Patreon on my website and sign up over there. I would really love to know what you guys enjoyed most about this tutorial. As I said, it was in real time and it is taken from a tutorial that I made for my Puffin members on my website and for Patreon. But let me know what you enjoyed most about this tutorial in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.